A Student's Literary Journey Chapter 1, A Passion Ignited For Lily, English class was more than just another subject to slog through, it was a gateway to a world of endless possibilities. While her peers often struggled to stay awake during lectures on grammar and literature, Lily's eyes would light up, her mind racing with ideas and insights that left her teachers impressed. From a young age, Lily had been captivated by the power of language. The way words could be strung together to evoke emotion, paint vivid scenes, or convey profound truths fascinated her. She spent hours poring over classic novels, jotting down phrases that struck a chord, and experimenting with her own creative writing. As Lily sat in her English classroom, the chatter of her classmates faded into the background. Her gaze was fixed on the overhead projector, where her teacher, Mrs. Wilkins, was dissecting the intricate symbolism woven through the pages of The Great Gatsby. Lily hung on to every word, her fingers twitching with the urge to take meticulous notes. The green light at the end of Daisy's dock represents Gatsby's unwavering hope and his desperate desire to reclaim the past, Mrs. Wilkins said, her voice infused with a passion that mirrored Lily's own. It's a symbol of the American dream, and how it can so easily slip through our fingers. Lily leaned forward, her eyes narrowing in concentration. She had read the novel countless times each experience revealing new layers of meaning that she couldn't wait to unpack. As Mrs. Wilkins continued her analysis, Lily's mind whirred with connections, insights, and questions that she longed to share. When the bell finally rang, signaling the end of the class, Lily reluctantly gathered her belongings, her heart still racing with the thrill of intellectual discovery. As she made her way to her locker, she couldn't help but overhear the conversations of her peers. Did you see the game last night? It was crazy, one boy exclaimed, his voice brimming with excitement. I'm so stressed about the physics test tomorrow, a girl nearby lamented, her brow furrowed with worry. Lily listened, feeling a familiar sense of isolation. While her classmates were consumed by the latest sports scores or academic anxieties, her own thoughts were dominated by the intricacies of literary symbolism and the power of the written word. She often felt like an outsider, unable to relate to the concerns that seemed to preoccupy her peers. As Lily opened her locker, a well-worn copy of Pride and Prejudice had tumbled out, its pages spilling onto the floor. She knelt down to gather the book, running her fingers reverently along the spine. This had been her constant companion for as long as she could remember, a source of comfort and inspiration during the lonelier moments of her high school experience. You must really love that book, a voice suddenly said, startling Lily. She looked up to see a girl with kind eyes and a warm smile standing before her. Lily recognized her as Samantha, a fellow student in her English class who had always seemed to share Lily's enthusiasm for literature. I, I do, Lily stammered, feeling a surge of self-consciousness. I've read it so many times, but I always find something new to discover. Samantha nodded, her gaze filled with understanding. I know exactly what you mean. There's just something so captivating about the way Austin weaves her characters and their stories, isn't there? Lily felt a glimmer of hope ignite within her. Finally, someone who understood her passion for the written word, someone who shared her reverence for the power of language. Absolutely, Lily replied, a smile tugging at the corners of her mouth. I could discuss the nuances of Darcy and Elizabeth's relationship for hours. Samantha laughed, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Well, then, maybe we should, she said, her tone playful. I happen to know of a little club that might be right up your alley. Lily's heart leaped. A club. 
for people who loved literature and writing. The idea was both thrilling and terrifying. What if she didn't fit in, even here? Sensing Lily's hesitation, Samantha reached out and gently touched her arm. Hey, don't worry. It's a really welcoming group. We're all just a bunch of word nerds who love to share our work and talk about books. Lily considered Samantha's offer, her mind racing with a mixture of apprehension and curiosity. Part of her longed to finally find a community that understood her, a place where she could truly be herself. But the fear of rejection still lingered, a nagging voice in the back of her mind that warned her against putting herself out there. In the end, it was the memory of those lonely moments, huddled in the corner of the library with her beloved books, that made up Lily's mind. With a deep breath, she looked up at Samantha and nodded. I'd love to check it out, she said, her voice filled with a newfound determination. Samantha beamed, and Lily felt a surge of anticipation course through her veins. This could be the start of something extraordinary, a chance to finally find her place in a world that had often felt so foreign to her. As she followed Samantha down the hallway, Lily couldn't help but wonder what other wonders awaited her on this unexpected journey. Chapter 2 The Discovery Lily's heart pounded as she followed Samantha down the bustling hallway. With each step, her apprehension grew, but an underlying current of excitement kept her moving forward. The prospect of finding a community that shared her love of literature was both thrilling and terrifying. As they approached a set of double doors, Samantha paused and turned to Lily, her expression warm and reassuring. This is it, she said, gesturing towards the entrance. The Creative Writing Club meets in the library every Tuesday after school. I think you're really going to like it. Lily nodded, trying to steady her nerves. I hope so, she replied, her voice barely above a whisper. Samantha placed a gentle hand on Lily's arm. Don't worry, you'll be fine. We're a pretty welcoming bunch, I promise. With that, Samantha pushed open the doors, and Lily found herself standing in the threshold of the school library. The familiar scent of aged paper and ink washed over her, evoking memories of countless hours spent immersed in the written word. As Lily followed Samantha into the space, her eyes swept across the rows of bookshelves, the cozy reading nooks, and the clusters of students gathered in various corners. The library had always been Lily's sanctuary a place where she could escape the social pressures of high school and lose herself in the magic of storytelling. Samantha led Lily to a secluded alcove, where a group of students sat in a circle, their faces lit up with animated conversation. Lily recognized a few of them from her English classes, but most were unfamiliar. Everyone, this is Lily, Samantha announced, drawing the group's attention. She's a fellow literature enthusiast who's interested in joining our little club. A chorus of welcoming smiles and nods greeted Lily, easing some of the tension in her shoulders. It's great to meet you, Lily, said a boy with tousled hair and bright, inquisitive eyes. I'm Ethan, the president of the Creative Writing Club. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Lily tentatively lowered herself into an empty chair, her gaze darting from one face to the next. She recognized the familiar feeling of being the outsider, the newcomer in a tight-knit group, but something about the warmth and camaraderie radiating from these students made her feel a little less like an outcast. So, what do you like to write? asked a girl with vibrant red hair and a smattering of freckles across her nose. Lily hesitated, suddenly self-conscious about her own creative endeavors. I, um, I enjoy writing short stories and poetry, she replied, her voice barely audible. That's awesome, the girl exclaimed. 
I'm Ava, by the way. I mostly write fantasy and sci-fi, but I love exploring different genres. You should definitely share some of your work with us. Lily's eyes widened at the suggestion, her heart quickening. Oh, I, I am not sure, she stammered. I mean, my writing is probably not that good, and... Nonsense. Ethan interrupted, his tone reassuring. We're all here to support each other and give constructive feedback. Don't be shy, we'd love to hear what you've been working on. Lily glanced around the circle, searching the faces of her newfound peers. She saw nothing but genuine interest and encouragement, and a small, tentative smile tugged at the corners of her lips. Okay, she conceded, I guess I could share a short piece I've been working on. As Lily began to read her story aloud, the weight of her self-doubt slowly lifted from her shoulders. The words flowed from her lips with a confidence she didn't know she possessed, and she found herself getting lost in the narrative, oblivious to the attentive gazes of her audience. When she finally reached the end, a hush fell over the group, broken only by the sound of Ava's enthusiastic clapping. Lily, that was amazing, she exclaimed. The way you wove those images together, it was so vivid and emotionally resonant. I'm honestly a little jealous of your talent. Lily felt her cheeks flush with a mixture of pride and embarrassment. Thank you, she murmured, but I'm sure your writing is just as impressive. She's right, you know, Ethan chimed in. That was a really strong piece. The imagery, the character development, it all came together beautifully. I can tell you've got a real knack for this. The other members of the group echoed Ethan's and Ava's praise, each offering thoughtful insights and suggestions for how Lily could further refine her work. Lily listened, enraptured, her mind buzzing with a newfound sense of belonging and validation. As the meeting drew to a close, Lily found herself reluctant to leave. She had spent so many years feeling like an outsider, constantly searching for a place where she truly fit in. And now, surrounded by these kindred spirits, she had finally found it. So, Lily, Ethan said, catching her attention, are you planning on joining the club? Lily hesitated for only a moment before nodding emphatically. Absolutely, she replied, her voice brimming with enthusiasm. I can't wait to be a part of this. Ethan grinned, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Fantastic. We meet every Tuesday, so be sure to come back next week. We're always looking for fresh voices and new perspectives. Lily nodded, her heart swelling with a sense of purpose and possibility. As she gathered her belongings and followed Samantha out of the library, she couldn't help but feel like she had just taken the first step on an extraordinary journey. The world of literature and storytelling had always been her sanctuary, a place where she could truly be herself. And now, surrounded by like-minded individuals who shared her passion, Lily knew that this was only the beginning of a transformative adventure. Chapter 3 Finding Her Voice Over the next few weeks, Lily found herself eagerly anticipating the weekly meetings of the Creative Writing Club. The initial trepidation she had felt upon her first visit had all but vanished, replaced by a growing sense of excitement and belonging. As she walked through the library's double doors each Tuesday, Lily felt a surge of energy coursing through her veins. The familiar faces of her newfound peers greeted her with warm smiles and enthusiastic waves, welcoming her into the cozy alcove where the group gathered. Lily, you're just in time. Ethan called out, waving her over. We were about to start sharing our latest pieces. I think you're going to love what Ava has written. Lily smiled and made her way to the circle, slipping into the vacant chair next to Samantha. 
As Ava began to read her vivid fantasy story, Lily found herself transported to a world of enchanted forests and mythical creatures, her eyes widening with wonder at the girl's captivating prose. When Ava finished, the group erupted into a chorus of applause, their faces alight with admiration. That was incredible, Ava, Lily breathed, unable to contain her excitement. The way you described the setting, it was so vivid, I felt like I was right there with the characters. Ava beamed, her cheeks flushed with pride. Thank you, Lily. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. I've been working on this story for weeks, trying to get the world building just right. Ethan nodded in agreement, his eyes gleaming with enthusiasm. You definitely nailed it. I could practically smell the pine trees and feel the chill of the wind on my face. Fantastic work. As the group continued to discuss Ava's story, offering insightful feedback and suggestions, Lily found herself growing increasingly inspired. The way her peers seamlessly analyzed the narrative structure, character development, and thematic elements was a revelation to her. Okay, who's next? Ethan announced, his gaze sweeping across the circle. Lily, how about you? Lily felt her heart skip a beat, a familiar wave of self-doubt washing over her. Oh, I, I am not sure, she stammered her palms suddenly clammy. My writing is probably not as good as. Nonsense, Samantha interrupted, placing a reassuring hand on Lily's arm. We'd love to hear what you've been working on. Don't be shy, we're all here to support each other. Lily glanced around the group, seeing nothing but encouraging smiles and eager anticipation. Taking a deep breath, she nodded and began to rummage through her bag, pulling out a neatly folded stack of papers. Well, I've been working on a short story that explores the theme of identity and self-discovery, Lily began, her voice growing stronger with each passing word. It's about a young girl who feels like an outsider in her own life, until she discovers a passion that helps her find her true self. As Lily read her story aloud, she could feel the weight of her self-consciousness slowly melting away. The words flowed from her lips with a newfound confidence, and she found herself getting lost in the narrative, oblivious to the attentive gazes of her audience. When she reached the final line, a hush fell over the group, broken only by the sound of Ethan's soft, reverent applause. Lily, that was absolutely stunning, he murmured, his eyes shining with genuine admiration. The way you wove the themes of identity and belonging, it was so poignant and emotionally resonant. Ava nodded emphatically, her expression awestruck. I agree, that was incredible. The way you described the main character's inner struggle and her eventual self-discovery, it really hit home for me. One by one, the other members of the club chimed in with their praise, each offering thoughtful insights and suggestions for how Lily could further refine her work. Lily listened, enraptured, her heart swelling with a sense of pride and validation she had never experienced before. Lily, this is truly exceptional, Ethan said, his voice filled with conviction. I really think you should consider submitting this to the school's literary magazine. I have no doubt it would be a standout piece. Lily's eyes widened in surprise, her mind racing with a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The literary magazine, she echoed, her voice barely above a whisper. I, I don't know, I'm not sure it's good enough. Samantha squeezed Lily's arm reassuringly. Are you kidding? It's absolutely good enough. In fact, I think it's one of the best pieces I've heard all year. You should definitely go for it. Lily glanced around the circle, seeing the same encouragement and belief reflected in the faces of her peers. 
For so long, she had doubted her own abilities, convinced that her writing was not worthy of recognition. But now, surrounded by this supportive community, she began to see her work through a different lens. Okay, Lily said, a tentative smile tugging at the corners of her lips. I'll do it. I'll submit my story to the literary magazine. The group erupted into cheers and applause, their excitement palpable. Ethan beamed, his expression brimming with pride. That's amazing, Lily. I can't wait to see your piece in print. Just remember, we're all here to support you every step of the way. Lily nodded, her heart racing with a mixture of nerves and anticipation. As the meeting drew to a close, she found herself lingering, reluctant to leave the cozy alcove and the welcoming embrace of her newfound community. For years, Lily had felt like an outsider, constantly searching for a place where she truly belonged. But now, surrounded by these kindred spirits who shared her passion for the written word, she had finally found it. This creative writing club had become a haven, a safe space where she could express her innermost thoughts and dreams without fear of judgment or rejection. As Lily made her way home, her mind was abuzz with the events of the afternoon. She could still feel the thrill of sharing her story with the group, the overwhelming sense of validation that had washed over her as her peers showered her with praise and encouragement. Clutching the stack of papers containing her short story, Lily couldn't help but feel a renewed sense of purpose. She had taken a leap of faith, putting her work out there for others to judge, and the experience had been nothing short of transformative. With a determined smile, Lily set her sights on the upcoming literary magazine submission deadline. This was her chance to not only share her voice with the wider school community, but to prove to herself that her passion for writing was a true calling, one that she was more than ready to embrace. As she climbed the steps to her front door, Lily knew that this was just the beginning of an extraordinary journey. The world of literature and storytelling had always been her sanctuary, and now, with the support of her newfound writing community, she was ready to take the next bold step in her quest to become a wordsmith.